Multiverses. How is this game now? Okay. Multiverses, you know, I was very excited for this game. Okay. It was going to be a free to play version of Super Smash Brothers. You would think that they would handle this game correctly. Maybe have challenges to unlock the characters, or you have to pay to get the characters. But nope, you had all the characters unlocked by a paywall. You only get to play as a couple characters. There's no story mode. There is a battle pass, which ruins everything. And there is really no reason to play this game outside of, you know, testing your skills against opponents. So there's another failure of a live service game. Okay. The game went down from 153,000 people to just under 1,000. Okay. That's how very few people are playing this game. As well. And. Season 3 was supposed to start, but. Uh, the last character has been. Was Marvin the Boston, which was released three months ago. Okay. And ever since then, no characters have been added. This is a game that literally nobody plays. And Bohol, which is one of the competitors for multiverses, has about 604 people. Has never brought me more than five and a half years. But every day in 2023, we're saying about 21,000. Okay. It just seems that people don't like live service games, so that's not good. Okay. Nobody likes this game. Nobody's playing it. Okay. If people liked multiple versions, people would still be playing it. You, you would, even if the game was, you know, not as popular as other games, you would still have a decent chunk of people playing it. But what's it, a thousand? 99% drop? Okay. You know, this is pretty bad for Water Brothers. Okay. Maybe they sort of release it as an actual game. And not a game where you have to unlock every character tediously as well. You know. So yeah, another game that has been ruined by Fortnite. Another game that could have been a good game. But they decided to take the route of Fortnite and make it a live service. So that's basically this video here. Goodbye.